<laughs> I don't even know why I tried to do that. Oh, man. Seven. Left hand. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Not that I use it that much anyway. Can I see my souls from here? Please tell me no. God damn it. <laughs> it's okay, we'll just run very quickly. And we're just really, really, really close to the next boss uh, that we will now have to beat uh, without a shield. Also, the tree doesn't come back, so that's kind of cool. This will only take me a second. And then I'll jump again! I don't even know if you can make that jump. I think I did once, and it really boosted my confidence. Like, oh yeah, got this cool ring, jumped across the gorge. Man, I'm like an action hero. Whoa, look at me. But then the game reminded me that, uh, you know, I'm playing a game that's not about making you feel very powerful. It's about the slow entropy and death of the universe. And even if you are the most powerful guy in a dying universe, you're still gonna die, you know? No matter how strong you are, well, one could argue you could possibly get strong enough to create the, your own universe. Of course, that really raises the question of what is power? What is strength? You know what I mean? Is power physical strength? Is it mental strength? Is it cosmic strength? Who knows? Like, arguably, like, if you got strong enough in, oh my god. <laughs> don't need that happening right now. If you got strong enough in certain ways, oh my god, please don't block me, tree, 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 tree! Oh god, they're coming for me. Quick, kill this tree, kill this fucking tree, it's right on me! No, I'm not gonna kill you, I'm killing this freaking tree. No, no, come on, don't, don't do this to me. Tree, why did you have to walk in front of me? Wait, no, maybe I can walk around this way. Tree? Get me the heck out of here! See you later, sucker! Oh my god, why? This is why you have to kill everything on your way through the, the horrible, horrible forest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Picked the wrong time to heal! Okay, good. I'm not gonna kill anything around here. I'm just gonna run for it, because honestly... Give me that, give me that. Run, 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 run! Let's just see how many things I can get to follow me. Oh god, everything is alive now! There's a, a twin snake thing right there. Whoo! I can't remember if there's even any more items in this area. I think there's one more around here somewhere. It's like down a... Yeah, here we go. This is probably a really bad idea because I can't even remember what this item is. Partisan! It's a weapon I could probably use. Oh, shit. Um... No, no. Okay. I knew that was a bad idea, but I had hoped that perhaps I could have gotten out of it. <sighs> oh, motherfucker! Eight. Okay, so I cannot use the Reinforce Club or the Club Three. That means we'll have to use... I can't use that or that. You know what? I should really just put weapons I can't use in the bottomless box, because I'm never- why would I even need to have them in my inventory? Assess this gargoyle. Morning star. I can use that or that or that or anything, really. You know, just really quick, let's- let's get rid of this shit. God damn it. Put it in. Yeah. Yep, nope. Put it in. Okay, that's how you put it on. Gargoyle's tail. Stop. I, I, ne I never used the bottomless box, so like... Wing spear. Partisan. The weapon that I killed myself for, I can't use. Assess this. Short bow. It's just bad times. Okay. Take that club off. Let's use the battle axe. Okay, at least this gets me to diversify in what weapons I'm using. You know, that keeps... You know what, actually, this is very appropriate. Because now I get to go into this horrible forest as a woodcutter. And I get to trim the fat from this woodland body. 
I'm killing these guys. Even though it's probably gonna... Oh my fucking god. You, wow. Four legs again. Joke's on you, suckers. Okay. Look at them. Just that trio ran up out of nowhere. Well, I don't say out of nowhere. I knew where they were going to come from. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to be so cool. Look at that. I'm going to take revenge on them for killing me and like trapping me in that freaking horrible hole. Mm-mm. I got a horrible hold myself. I didn't pick up my souls from the horrible hole. So all my souls are gone. Oh my gosh. I have... N Is that true? Souls. 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 Souls zero. Yeah, I have no souls. Great! I was not only robbed, but uh, I robbed myself. Do I have any humanity? No. Well, I don't have it equipped. I want to see if I can get this one helper. You know what? No! No, 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 no. No help. I have not earned the help here. Mm -mm. Normally there's a, there's a witch lady that you can summon to help you out with this fight. But first of all, I don't need her help in this fight. Because that would make this fight absolutely piss easy. But, um, are they climbing up here? Hold on, I need to open up my soda pop that I've brought with me. Let's see if they're gonna... There's a mod that you can get called uh, Ultra Awareness where enemies can uh, become aware of your presence from super far away. It's great. I didn't uh, get the mod installed, sadly, because you had to pay for it to get it installed. And I wasn't feeling like doing that, so... Let's see if I can beat this boss and equip um, my true strength. This is another boss that gave me a lot of problems when I first began. This is the Moonlight Butterfly. And I am not looking forward to beating this thing without a shield. Because it does shit like this. Magical attacks that can really hurt if you're not good at dodging. It's very pretty though, and very strange looking. Like, what's up with that wheel behind it? And then it does the super mega laser beam of painful eradication. Again. I've never really figured out how to dodge that. I don't even know if you can dodge that. Man. This is gonna be close. I don't know what my health is at. That attack is... I'm actually really good at dodging. That I don't bother with. He... freaking get down here! It, uh... After doing a certain amount of magical attacks, it comes down to feed on this grass stuff to like regain its mana or something. Some flim flam bullshit butterfly thing. Like, look at you, you freaking strange. I wonder if this is even hitting it. Is it? I hope so. Oh, definitely hitting it right in its weird horn. Oh shit. Uh, roll! Okay, good. He's actually, well, it's not actually like really strong in terms of health or whatever. It just puts out a lot of damage for starting characters. I'm surprised that did not hit me. It can be really difficult if uh, you don't know how to dodge magical attacks. Like, is that the sun? Okay, it just went away. Okay, now it's back. What the fuck? Did you see how the sun, moon... Okay, it's gone again. Uh, now it's back again. This is why this thing's called the Moonlight Butterfly, because it can take away or bring back the moon, or whatever the frick that is. What's going on? I'm sorry, I really should not be- Stop doing that! It's erasing a celestial body from the sky. What kind of monster are you? You weird emerald butterfly thingy. Bring back the moon. This is Piccolo's butterfly. Please don't die. It's just a battle of how much healing I can do. Okay, here we go. See, he comes down to have a little nibble. And I can hit him right in the frickin'... Oh man, I really wonder how much health he has. I got greedy! <sighs> okay. The next time should be his last go. This is actually really intense. This is awesome. Usually, 
Ugh. Usually I don't really worry about the butterfly at all. But, uh... People do die to the butterfly. And then, uh, their parents look at them in a very disappointed manner. I don't want to experience that again. One too many times. Oh, man, this is... Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. This is really embarrassing that I'm doing this bad at the butterfly. Come on. Come on. Come down here. Come down. Step into my web, said the spider to the stupid ass butterfly. Oh, my God. Tail is glitching out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is it. If I don't kill him right now, I'm dead. Come on. Come on. I can't survive another volley of attacks. No! You freaking bastard! How much could he have? How much could he possibly have? If I take like one more hit, I'm done for. My hands are sweaty. Fuck! How much did you have? Damn! Three. Hands. Oh man, I have hands equipped. Okay, now we have to go in there with even less damage. You know what, hold on, do I have any, do I have any items that I can use? Gold pine resin. This might help in the situation. I never said that I couldn't use items against bosses. I'm just critically embarrassed that I even lost to the butterfly. I mean, I know I've got like the soul level one and a crappy weapon and all that junk, but losing to the butterfly. Whew. At least it's a really, really short walk from the bonfire to the boss. Well, I mean, if you have the secret bonfire. If you don't, you have to walk by Andre doing his stupid ping, ping, ping. Wait a minute, did I kindle that? Yeah, I, kind I kindled the bonfire. Okay, good. See the butterfly sitting up there on the little castle spire thing. I think this was my blood stain. Yep. I think it was. I think it was. I don't know. Either way, somebody else once in history has died to this stupid butterfly. Um... I can't remember if I have the gold pine resin equipped right now, or the, uh, the Estus flask. Do I? Which one? Shoot. This one. Fuck! Meant to heal instead of equipping the resin. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Just gotta go under it. on down here. Don't let the resin run out. Ooh. That was close. Nice. Sometimes you do have to roll into attacks. Man, the resin lasts for a long time. I forgot how much it lasts in the first game. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. This is good. This is wonderful. Keep it going, hack. Hack at the bone. There, that, that, that has done some good damage. I'm happy with that, okay. Ooh, look, the, the, ooh, nice. You see, in the later games, sometimes the resin does not last nearly as long, or you can get, like, not necessarily resin, but you can get tinier portions of it. So, like, it's cheaper and more abundant, but it doesn't last nearly as long. So I'm so used to the effect of the resin running out in like four seconds. That was like a good 35. Very nice. At least 35. Okay. What's happening? Oh, he's doing that stupid... Sometimes he'll go over. Stop getting rid of the moon. It's one of the few things that I can count on. The moon. Yeah. See, he's going over and doing this like weird like bubble attack. Not a fan, butterfly. Not a fan. Ooh. I think you almost hit yourself with that attack. 
Not that it would have done anything, I'm just saying. That would have been interesting. Come down. Step into my parlor of pain. Would you cut that out? Oh, here we go. Apply the resin. Quick, 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 quick. There, ooh. I don't even know how much more damage that's doing, but it's gotta be doing something. No! I really would have liked to have known how much more health he had in that last one. I'll bet you it would have just been one more hit. Just one more! There we go. I'm sorry, it's been so long since I fought the butterfly, because the butterfly is not, in my recollection, a required fight. So, uh, I think a lot of the time I just skip this guy. See, I'm doing so much better now. I think I've only had to heal once or twice? Instead of the ten frickin' times. There we go. Try holding with both hands. A butterfly in both hands is soon quickly crushed. Apply the resin right now. That's the wrong one. Resin! Here we go. I really like the music in this area. Oh, God! 